Qatar. Typical. It's all, it's all very flat up here on the Solway, which is ideal cycling country. And often we go to Swaledale in North Wales, where the e-bikes are ideal, but it's nice to do a bit of flat country as well. Just swanning along. Interesting sky. Lovely deep blue, but puffy clouds as well. Oh, Come alongside. I'll do, I'll do. Oh, look at the go. Speedy Gonzalez, roadrunner. Meet me. <laughs> I'll have to drop an anvil on you in the canyon. <laughs> Oh, we're looking out for eggs. Oh, there's a moped behind, I think. Yep. Oh, there's just lots of nice little bungalows and cottages. And that's quite a bit of grassland, but there's also quite a bit of arable, you know, barley crop and that kind of thing. And it just feels to me a bit suffocating. A bit like Suffolk up here, you know, it's made me nostalgic. smell of the country, you know, the old bit of cow poo in the air, which I like to be fair, oddly, just uh, makes me think of my country childhood. Tweet of birds as you go along, and the wind in the trees. And because there's sea on both sides of the peninsula, as it were, it almost feels like an island, you know. Lots of seascape as well.
coming into Port Carlisle now. And there's this sign. When water reaches this point, maximum depth is two feet. So obviously this road can get flooded when, the, when there's a high tidal surge, etc. Church? We're from Calgary, Calgary. sir. From Calgary? Yeah. What? Canadian. Too bloody right. Pleased to meet oh, you, Mike. Isn't Calgary Australian? No. Calgary's... Uh, is it? Westwood across the Atlantic. Ah. Uh, Christchurch is in Australia. Is it now? We've had an Australian through and some Canadians from Calgary. That's really? why it's up there. Oh, I see. It's I'm a out. souvenir signpost. It's nice, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so is that a dash cam you've got? It's, well, it's a, it's a head cam. Oh. <laughs> it's on now, because I was just going to oh, capture that's this. Oh, nice. oh, very nice. Is that all right, sir? Oh, yeah. 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 Where are you from? Well, we're stopping at uh, Bowness on oh, Solway. Oh, you're on a holiday? Yes, but I we're could. from Barrow in Furness, so, oh, right. so the, the other watery end of Cumbria. Oh, yeah. <laughs> from one watery end to the other yeah. watery end. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a souvenir signpost. I made it in that workshop. Did Have you, you ever been to John O'Groats, a Land's End? Not yet, sir, no. Well, there was a, a, a signpost similar to that uh, there. We go on motorbike tours every year. Yes, sir. Should... Yes, there is, isn't there? Yes. Aye, ah, there is. I've seen it in So Tokyo. when I retired five years ago, I made that in the workshop. Very good, the sir. The walkers and the tourists. This is Hadrian's Wall Path, you see. Yes, so I understand. Sir, yeah, I, I, yeah. Very enterprising, sir. Yeah. And very noble of you. And it makes a few quid. That's the most important I thing. I noticed the donation. Most, imp most important thing about that post is the box. We'll stop. Ah! We'll stop by on the way back, sir. I promise you. <laughs> Have you got a camera with you? Ah, uh, got a this. Phone? Of course. I've got yeah. a camera. Yeah. All oh, right. Oh, yeah. Well, if you've time. Yes. Uh, should I put Barrow on furnace on for you? <laughs> Wait, what? Whip up a signboard? Yeah. It, hard, it hardly compares to some of the other prestigious... Oh, well, uh, we, it, yeah. Uh, Barrow isn't uh, exactly as, as salubrious. No, it is not. <laughs> Quite so. Right, this is Roger here. He's just going to give us, kind of give us a little bit of an explanation about the history of the harbour here at... Uh, Port Carlisle. That's right. Yeah, so Roger, what, what can you tell us about the, about the, the features we see here? What well, the features that you see, the most prominent feature is the old dock, the old quay. Yes. Now, it was, it's there, it was a coal load wharf. Coal load? Yes. Load. For import or export? Import. Import from... The, the coal would come from Whitehaven, work it in Maryport. Where well, the coal mines are? Yes. Carlisle used to be a huge textile industrial centre years ago, it just now, but it used to be there. Right. Uh, now, on a tide like today, yes, a tide like today, that is the last lock of the 12 mile Carlisle to Port Carlisle canal. Oh. That's where the fresh, fresh water yes. meets the sea. Indeed, yes. Now, on the smaller tides, it doesn't even reach the lock. Oh, so what, what that was for? 
was because was that the coal boats used to move it against the side. And the, the three cranes on there, they used to empty the coal into rail cars. Right. And uh, there was a pier the same height as that to the land to Kirkland Farm actually. And the horses would throw the rail cars to the edge of the canal, empty them into a barge, and then the horses would go the barge into Carbon Power. Right, I see. Uh, this worked brilliant until Mr. Railway arrives. Yes. Arrives. yes. Now, as soon as they get a rail link between, say, the West Cumberland and Carlisle, yes. that was the beginning of the port Carlisle. Indeed, Carlisle. Yes. Now, As is usually the case when yes, the railway comes swiftly. on. Yes. And uh, it isn't so bad. Uh, when, while it was on, it was only on about 20 years, but while it was on, it was a booming place, this. Was it now? When you come to think of it, I think it would open in about 1808 or 1810, and it only operated 10 or 12 years. That's all. Really? And it took them about eight years to build it. Yes. But anyway, there was <laughs> talk. It was so successful. Yes. Even though there was no water for the bulk of the time. Yes. Wasn't exactly the best place to build a harbour. I mean, uh, 16 or 17 hours out there there in any water. Yes. But there was a talk at the time they were going to extend it from Carlisle to the time. Of course. But could you imagine today? Going over 20, the Pennines. 20 container ships waiting for me to come and wait for the tide to come in. Yes. Yes. I don't think so. No, no, I think that would put them off. But anyway, exactly a, uh, uh, 200 years ago, this place would be moved. Now, we get a lot of American, and this is Hadrian's Wall Park, we get a lot of American and Australian uh, and Canadian walkers, and the Americans and Canadians tell me that their ancestors sailed from Port Carlisle to America Good 200 Lord. years ago. They emigrated down the canal to yeah, this port. Well, they would get a boat. Yes. They would get a boat from continental Europe to uh, Newcastle. Right. I'm talking. I'm talking about uh, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, oh, Belgium. Oh yes. Holland, yes. Germany as well. They would get a boat to Newcastle, and then from Newcastle they would get a stagecoach to Carlisle. And there used to be a passenger barge at uh, at Carlisle. Would bring the beer. And those posts there are the old passenger pier. Really? The passenger pier went out there. And the light out there. That pier's disappeared. Because the piers who were built of uh, the green heart, it yes. doesn't block, you see. Yes. And it would get stolen. So that's why the aliens fall. Where there's a village, there's no wall. Because they're stealing to make the village. Yes, indeed, yes. 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 They call it up upcycling, don't they, nowadays? <laughs> <laughs> You know? I suppose, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, it's steeped in history. Now, if, where have you came from today? Bonus and Solway? Yes, Was but we've just been round the peninsula, as it were, and across uh, through Glasson. And right. Yes. So which way are you going back? Well, we're going back to Bonus and Solway, but, right. we, but you... we will have a look at this lock first. Is it yes, public access? Yes, you can have a look. Yeah, marvellous. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's no good going on the path further, further along because... There's briars and bits of branches lying where they've, where they've trimmed it back. Okay, well, so I, well wouldn't it, I wouldn't risk getting a puncture on that. Well, thank you so much, kind so sir. So the best way would be to go out and along the road. Now, there's a little chapel up there. We've just passed it, yes. Well, now, it's like a little museum. What, inside? Yes. There's, oh. there's photographs of the bridge at Bonus. It's fair now. And the railways here. Wow. 200 years ago. Good it's God. quite interesting. It's worth going in then. It's worth going in for 10 we, minutes. We did stop outside and look at the, at the commemorative photographs of the oh, D-Day yeah, yeah. landing. Yes. But we didn't go inside, but we, sh we now shall. Yeah, pop in, a uh, yeah. pop in inside. You can all, there's also a, a kitchen facility. You can make yourself a cup of coffee. Oh, well, we, we've got brewing doings on us. Anyway, yeah, yeah. we've got a little stove. Well, Don't thank right. you so much, kind oh, sir. Oh, you're welcome. I, I, I do a little YouTube channel. Have you any objections to being? No. That's very kind of you, sir. This That's, is, this is yeah. Roger from, from Ports. Carlisle, giving us the lowdown on the history in such a splendid and articulate manner. I thank you so much, kind sir. I'm, right. I'm sure you are, and we'll, we'll <laughs> pop something in the box on oh, our way thank back. thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Been, a, been a pleasure and an honour speaking to you. OK. Thank you, Roger. Likewise. Thank you, sir. OK. I'll see you again, I do yep. hope. And here we can see what that gentleman was telling us, the first lock. You can see the, the revetment stone turn in there. And here, Poppet standing on where the... Oof, where the gate arm would have swung and the rebates in the stonework for the, for the
of the gates. Metalwork here. Look at that. Where it would have swung. A bit like at Olverston Canal Foot, you know, that kind of thing. Of course, it's all very well uh, sort of filled in and grown, grown mossy. And there's the harbour just there, look. And this being the first lock on the the Carlisle Canal. Cool is that, eh? Good afternoon. Hello there. Fantastic. Wow. So the canal must have gone straight up there once past this first lock. There might have been another one. Going through that gap in the houses, I'll warrant. And now very much overgrown with all the wind. It's a very windy day today, I don't know if this audio will come out okay, but I hope it does with what Roger was telling us, that's good history. Marvellous. Yes. I'll just look a bit further on that. Well look at this, there's a history board. Isn't that fantastic? So there's the, the stone outer dock, over there. I guess this is that pier that Roger was alluding to, which would have been like a trestle bridge, I suppose. And there's, there's the lock <coughs> that we were just looking at. At the steam packet pier, where those stakes are. Fantastic. Railway line, it's a bit like Peel Island, isn't it? A railway coming right against the harbour. In the olden days, Methodist Chapel, pub, a steam packet in, turntable for the railway, custom house. Ah, oh, it's marvellous, isn't it? Look, there's an old picture, look at that. If anybody wants to read this in slow time, you can just you can just pause the uh, the video and read it. Ah, the dandy! Look, horse-drawn passenger vehicle. Oh, look at that! There it is with the canal running in front of those houses, which you can't see from here, but they were up on the main street. The canal going below. How wonderful is this? Splendid. Oh well, I love this kind of stuff. Ah. Yeah. Look at this sandstone bollard. There's a few of these around. So the ship could berth up alongside the quay and throw a rope round that and there'd be others again as well at the, the other end. Just to tie up with. Magic.
There's a, there's a limestone bollard in that cottage garden. Bird noises. That creaky smell of the salt water and seaweed that's uh, so delicious. stone bollard, or perhaps even a windlass. So I see, yeah, the, looking at that map, the canal went in here and then turned left, parallel to the estuary, if you like. I'll just be up by the post puppet. I'll put your side stand up first before you bray it off. We're just at this little uh, chapel just outside of Port Carlisle and there's history inside. Photos of the canal and the railway and all that. I love finding little pockets of information like this. There's some D-Day commemoration photos outside where we are and it says open welcome and there's lots of uh, historic photographs of what the place was like look at this a horse-drawn dandy from Carlisle to Port Carlisle. Oh, isn't it brilliant? I hope the, uh, the lighting's a bit gloomy in here, but there's plenty to look at and read. Super duper. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm getting glare on that photo. That's better, isn't it? Another horse-drawn carriage. <laughs> Marvellous. Oh. And here's an image of what Hadrian's Wall might have looked like with the centurions and excavating the ditches. list of vessels don't know if it's got a date on that half netters Viaduct. We 
where we were yesterday. Look at that. Yes, and it did have telegraph poles. You can see one in that photo. Oh yes, it says on there what happened to the fire ducks. You can pause this video if you want to read it in slow time. But it, uh, the fire duct had to withstand the pressure of blocks of ice up to five feet thick and 40 yards square, carried by a 14 mile per hour tide. So that's what it did for it. The ice loading basically, the seaborne ice washing against the structure. some shrimp boats and there's a view looking across it oh look it's talking about west coast west cumbrian hematite being transported to the lanarkshire ironworks Oh, it's a terrible glare on that. Let me just move around a bit. Getting back glare. There. Tremendous. Yeah, well, a lovely little chapel full of historic photographs and information. It's lovely. Museum, obviously, but not sure where. Mm -hmm. 